The buzzing of chainsaws has been a common sound around the Bemidji area the past few days after last week's storm uprooted and knocked trees down all over the area. Our Josh Peterson has an update on the damage to Bemidji's parks. Last Thursday, a severe thunderstorm that swept through the Bemidji area has left its mark. Signs of damage still remain all over the city of Bemidji. Some of the area's hardest hit were Bemidji's parks and trails. Diamond Point Park was one of Bemidji's parks hit hardest. The park was finally recovering after the July 2nd storm of 2012 when it was hit again, leaving holes and stumps in the ground and vacant space in the sky. We threw a lot of our resources at our most used parks last week, um, certainly Diamond Point. We spent a considerable amount of time cleaning up Diamond Point. We had over 50 trees um, down in Diamond Point, so um, we really threw our resources here. One of the city's goals was to get Diamond Point Park reopened before the weekend so that those who had reserved space in the park could still use it. However, the cleanup continues and more trees in the park will need to be removed. Um, there's a couple more trees we'll probably have to take because the roots are kind of sticking out of the ground a little bit and like you said, leaning. Even though Diamond Point Park is open, signs of storm damage still remain, such as uprooted trees and stumps. The loss of 50 trees in Diamond Point Park, as well as nearly 100 trees lost in 2012, has caused the city to look into starting a conversation about reforestation. I anticipate talking to the council in the next few weeks about that. We've lost a significant amount of trees in these two storms in 2012 and 2016, and so I think we need to have a dialogue in our community about reforestation. Other parks around the city remain closed, such as North Country Park, Brinkman Park, and Bemidji's City Parks, Trails, and Disc Golf Course due to downed and uprooted trees. While there are no reports of any structural damage, these parks are closed until further notice to keep everyone safe. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Citywide storm debris pickup begins tomorrow morning. Residents are asked to have any tree debris set out on the curb of the road for roadside pickup. The main route and also stumps of trees will not be included in the pickup. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.